All right, so we have K down here at our hemline. And we've extended J all the way up to the waist, but we're not going to put another, we're not going to do anything with it currently. We are going to draw in our knee line down here. And the book says we're going to take the midpoint of J to K and then come up three inches from that. You can do the math if you like. I'm pretty sure none of you measured from your waist to your knee. So I would do that as a math double check, but right now let's just do it as the book says. Find J, find K, find halfway in between. Oh, I'm like, why is that math not working? Eight and a quarter. So my midpoint would be right here. And then I'm going to come up three inches. And if each one of these box is three, an, an inch. I'm actually going to be right here because I counted wrong here. Okay. This would become L. Wait, halfway and then go up three yes. Okay, it's a, don't be sorry. It's okay. Yes. So this is my midpoint. And I came up the three inches. So I would actually be one, two, I'd be here. This is L, this is not L. We are gonna draw this line. Just so you know where your knee goes. It doesn't have to be the other side quite yet, right? Correct. Yeah. We're not hooking or connecting anything over here yet. It's going to have us work on ankle line before we continue with crotch line or anything in the upper thigh. So we're going to be working off your ankle circumference, which once again, I think that that is not the place you need to start. I think you need to be thinking about foot circumference, which is top of the foot to around the back of the heel. That needs to be the smallest you can do because unless you're going to put some kind of egress in the bottom of your pant leg, you're not going to be able to get your foot through the smaller hole because your foot is not going to be able to bend and maneuver. It's all bone. So I'd take your ankle circumference and I'd be generous with it. So if my ankle circumference is a set is an eight, I'd probably have 10 be my minimum. And I am going to have that extend out on either side. Currently, this is half scale, so this would be six inches and this would be six inches. And that gives me a 12 inch hem if I did that. The book is saying probably nine, nine to 10, not 12. 24s are a huge bell. Boot cuts are probably 12s. Flats for uh, that's probably straight down for the knee, so you're probably looking a 10 or an 11. Okay. So if yours is smaller than this square, then you're going to start from the knee line and you're going to taper in to however okay. you want to do that. Decide what your hem circumference here is at the bottom. You determine the hem circumference first and then kind of go from there. I'm just going to stick with the 12 inches because it makes the math nice and clean, but this will be a design point. Okay. 
So the book says, for example, have four and a half inches on one side and four and a half inches on the other side. That gives you a nine inch circumference down at the ankle, which is a nice tapered leg. Like where is O on this paper? Oh, up here at D, we're going to measure into the pant leg an eighth of an inch. So on my paper, it will be barely discernible. And you would make that taper. Let's just say I'm gonna taper in that far on both sides. That's where I would make that taper from. Uh-huh, from D. This becomes M. This is O. I drew it dotted because I know we're drawing another line in here down from the knee line, and this still is not regular pant leg. Where this line you just drew from O to M, it intersects the line that comes up perpendicularly at your knee. You're gonna measure in another fourth of an inch to three eighths of an inch. This becomes P. And you're gonna draw it down to M. This becomes the real line. Why don't we have it a real line up here? Right, this is all gonna be hip curve. I don't really far enough. I'll see that to the bottom. 